Hey guys, it is Dawn Ruby and I'm here in this beautiful beach house. It's about 95 degrees outside and I'm about a mile from the beach. But before I head out to the beach to enjoy, of course, with sunscreen, I just wanted to share with you some tips around stress and, you know, what do you do? What do you do when you feel like you have everything piling on your shoulders. It's the end of May. You might have some graduations, weddings, kids plays, um, gra uh, just all kinds of craziness going on. And your work might be piling on your shoulders. Things need to get done before end of fiscal year. You know, um, what do we do? What do we do? How do we get all the things done that we want to get done without losing our flipping minds? And so I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about what I do and hopefully it is going to help you. So in the last couple of weeks, I have been, um, you know, writing a book, finishing writing a book, um, coaching, um, working with a new agency, building analytical capacity with them and trying to get in some family time, my daughter's in a play, and trying to get in some me time, working out, um, and and of course, you know, grow, growing and developing the business. We have a new cohort starting in October, which sounds far away, but it really isn't because everybody registers somewhere around June or July. Uh, so we're doing an early bird in May, which is right now. And, um, you know, and so, so I'm just like, all these things keep on like getting on the list, right? And not to mention getting like some dawn time, getting some relaxation time. And so what happens when you have all these stressors in your life is your hormones begin to go a little wacko, right? Things get to go a little cray cray. And, you know, you might put on extra weight. You might be thinking all the time. You might not even be able to, um, you know, take good care of yourself because you're wondering about the 50 things that you have to do. When are they going to get done? And, ah, uh, right? And so here's the first thing, the question I'm going to pose to you right now that I have posed to many of my clients that I've been working with. I've posed it to my family and I've even posed it to myself. And I say, you know, what is, what is the, what's the, like, we're at the beginning of the summer right now. It, like summer starts in just a couple of weeks. It's May. And so summer starts, what, in let's say two weeks, although it feels like it's starting today because it's in the nineties. And so you know, I say to my clients, what is something that that you could do? Like if it's August 31st, what's going to make you feel amazing? It's August 31st and the summer just passed. What is it that you want to have achieved that's going to make you feel absolutely amazing, right? And, you know, I listen to what people say. They're like, um, you know, I want to spend all this time with my friends. I want to detox from work a little bit. I want, actually want to detox from some crappy food and, and I just want to feel really good. I've had someone say, someone special to me say, um, you know, I want to just sit and have a margarita and calamari out by the ocean. Like, like I would feel like I had a good summer if I did that, right? Because maybe the summer has already started off or the, the spring has already started off to be very active, very energized, very to do, to do, to do, right? So, so I pose that question to you. If it's up to, if it's August 31st today, like let's go into the future and it's August 31st and I'm asking you, what is it that you have achieved this summer? Because you're so happy right now. It's August 31st and you're the happiest you've ever been in your entire life. And I ask you, why is that? What did you do this summer that made you so happy? What's your answer? What do you want to achieve this summer? What is it that you could say to yourself, if I did this, I would feel like I had the best summer of my life. And um, that's a serious question because when we're constantly in the today, when we're constantly like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do the laundry, I got to do that, you know, everything becomes a little chaotic. But if I'm asking you this serious question, it's August 31st and you are the happiest you've been ever, right? What did you do? What did you do to have such a great summer? What did you do to have such a wonderful summer? And write that answer down. What is it? Do you want to have hammock time? Do you want to have achieved something really big? For me, I want by you know the end of June, I want our t our our crime analysis schools, right? Our our analyst school and our supervisor school. I want them to be filled by the end of June so that I could just 
pour into everybody in October. I want to be upside down on a paddle board in beautiful weather. Yes, upside down on that paddle board in beautiful weather. I want to be in the best condition of my life. I want to I, I want to feel like I've worked really hard this summer on my body, on my mind, and I'm in the best physical and spiritual condition of my life. And what exactly does that look like, right? Um and and what does it look like for you? So when I start thinking about the stress in my life and I start thinking about the things that I have to do right now, the best thing that I do that hopefully can help you is take a ginormous step back and say, if it's August 31st and I'm the happiest I've ever been, ever, what did I do? What did I do? What would make me so happy on August 31st? Is it the calamari? Is it the sitting out there with your friends by the water? Is it taking your boat out more? Is it reading the book that you've been trying to read forever in a day? Like what would make you so freaking happy on August 31st, right? And then I want you to write it all down. I want you to write down everything that would make you crazy happy and do it. Write it down and do it, all right? So. Until next week, I want you to find joy, find happiness in doing exactly what makes your heart sing.